Oh, baby. We're going places. Here we are, folks. Kedgy, 2021. April 2nd. Park's been open for two days. As Dave predicted, I'm very unprepared. Shows up for a canoe trip with 16 burgers. <laughs> and uh, some tick spray. Woo! We're on Kedgy Lake and we're starting our trip into the Tobiatic Wilderness area. It's the most complete untouched wilderness we have. And you can do even like a two week trip back here. It's an Easter long weekend. We got a crew of four of us and Osa, I can't forget Osa. Today we are starting with 19 kilometers and doing the, uh, the 2.5 kilometer portage. Which is the first time Wes is hearing about this one. So it looks like the portage is that way, yeah. This stuff, this hard hack, it's pretty rigid, like you can't just bust through it. I don't even know if I'm on it right now. Yeah, totally missed it there. The trails in the Toby Attic so far seemed like they're marked by either flagging tape or little pieces of plastic hammered into the trees. But definitely a lot rougher than Kedji. This is an awesome spot. Like, this is like rustic. We thank you for your patronage and trust that 1935 will bring you happiness and prosperity. This place was recently renovated and it is in great shape. It's such a nice spot, well kept, everything you need in a cabin beautiful location, and also pretty hard to get to, so it adds to the adventure of the entire thing. The original is probably about 100 years old, and there's a lot of history here. fashion I was not uh, very well prepared for this trip and uh, of course being Good Friday everything was closed 
convenience stores and gas stations were the options. Lakeel. Lakeel was bumped. So I uh, went to uh, McDonald's and uh, got eight double cheeseburgers. I went for to Wendy's down the road and got eight uh, spice chickens. So we've made a good dent in them so far, but uh, we've got a few more left to eat. Oh, here we go. The Toby Attic Wild Coffee. It's very appropriate for sure. Dave, how important is it to have hooks around your fire to dry stuff? Seems to be pretty important to us right now. That was a sunny day of paddling, and we managed to fill the <laughs> every single hook. <laughs> there's one, there's one left here, boys. It was a bit more of a challenge than we anticipated, though. Like yeah, the route we took to get back here is yeah. the most convenient one. Yeah. So like yeah, it certainly implies like the level of adventure you have like to be willing to have to get back here and like the dedication to it. I think for yeah. sure. Where's Osa at? It's currently extremely windy and there's ice pellets. The weather isn't that favorable for travel. It's about 60 kilometer hour gusts of wind, about zero degrees, and there's currently freezing rain. We spent a little more time just relaxing this morning. We're in no rush. Like Adrian, this is never gonna last. She's gonna eat the chickens. And lo and behold, she killed two of them, two of them in one day. <laughs> two in one day? Yep. <laughs> she got mad, and I was like, this is not Osa's fault. to run everything first today so you can be at the bottom getting photos of them going through. Yeah. Okay, cool. Does okay. this also mean that we have to leave them? <laughs>
Yeah. Dangerous and sweaty. Pretty typical for shoulder season in Nova Scotia. It's, you know, snow rain. And it's actually, as, as Tyler was saying earlier, the fact that it's not actually rain is quite beneficial to us because we're not we're not getting wet at all. We're, we're actually dry, so the conditions are, it could be a lot worse. It could be a lot worse. Before it was like a freezing rain, and then it was kind of like, ah, is it raining? Is it snowing? We don't know. But now I can tell you that it is confirmed it is snowing. from the car and we're doing this large crossing here it's not too bad it's so windy I'm still kind of working with the headwinds here but we're making progress nothing too scary or cold not too bad at all Out there for a bit, but it's not too bad. Too bad. Wasn't too bad at all. No. Oh. 